him. Yes, so. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes. Okay, so can anyone hear me or is my microphone okay? Okay, thank you. Um, I think we'll wait for, uh, wait till uh, 10 past, 10 past, 10 past 5 to, uh, to start, yeah. Uh, thank you for joining. And uh, in the meanwhile, I've, um, I think this morning, um, one of our member, uh, one of our team member, sent you this link, and yeah, I've and using this website, you can access to go to. Uh, you can um like join the join the course, so you can. Oops, why is it like this? Okay, um, yeah. It is a, a, a few problem. Okay, I'm not sure. Uh, is there any problem or like any issue on the website? Like, can it, oh, like it should be have some a interface like this, and uh, you can access to to all the previous lesson, uh, including um, YouTube. Uh, PDF and, and also PowerPoint. <coughs> yeah. cool. So we we'll wait till ten past five to start. Yeah, so you can put your name or uh, to like uh, let us put put your name on the uh, this form for certificate and also your email to communicate by click by clicking your name here. It should be you can able to change your name and uh, email as well, and you can go to the course as well. Um, so you can go to the course and click on beginner course. It should be able to get you on this page. Cool. Actually, I think it's good to start now. Yeah, okay. So, wait. So, yeah, um, welcome everyone to um, Python beginner course, uh, lesson five. And this week we will talk about um, function and 
dictionary. This is um, more data type and a a function that uh, for the for Python to use out of the main program. Okay, so first of all, we will talk about dictionary. So dictionary is um, dictionary store key value and key like data value like key column value pairs. So what is key value pairs? You can see um, on this example. So we have a variables naming a country capital and and to use dictionary, we, we want to use the, a curly bracket. Curly bracket for indicate it's a set or dictionary. But um, so how to differentiate between set and dictionary um, is we have a um, key and value pairs, which is a colon. Um, so yeah, um, for for the set, set is a um, I think it's, yeah, set is something we only have curly bracket with a uh, comma, but we don't have any like we which we call, we say like key value pair. Key value pair is actually something is related. Um, yeah, it's related and you want to put it together um, we will use key value pair. Usually it's, yeah, for a dictionary we will say something like, um, um, yeah, capital like Germany, Berlin, it's, like, it's related and it's also in the same category. So we will, we will want to use dictionary as our data type which like easier for you to um, get element. Okay, so about dictionary, how can we use it? So we have, um, currently we have a dictionary, a German, German is uh, capital is Berlin, Canada, Ottawa, uh, and, and England is London. So, uh, like it's UK, okay. So, so firstly, we, ha we, we, we can um, assess the dictionary. To assess a dictionary, we can use um, a square, square bracket. So, uh, so different from like, um, setting a dictionary, we, we would like to use um, a square bracket and the key and get the key value to get the uh, use the key value to get the pair. So yeah, uh, I should say some more. So Germany, Canada, England, these are all key. And at the right hand side of the key, like um, after the colon, it is the pair value. The pair value is related to key. So yep, if we want to get a um, the capital of Germany, we would like to use a Germany as a key and get the pair value from the uh, variables. Um, not only for printing, we can also set the variable into, um, so yeah, we get a Berlin because we print it. And secondly, we can um, set the variable into a set of dictionary pairs into variables. Remember, uh, variables is right hand side, uh, putting right hand side um, values into left hand side. So, yep, we have a Eng uh, we have an England uh, capital, and we want we want to put in put into a best place variable so we um, actually what it does is best place equal to London and and yeah when we look up to England it will show up London so that's why it, we, we have London in the 
in the uh, naming as well. So uh, let's move on to the add item. We can add item using a not existing ver uh, key, something like um, Italy. It's not existing in the dictionary cap uh, in the dictionary, so we can um, create a new key and put in a new pair to the new key. So we can add a entire whole list. What it does is we add Italy, yeah, we add Italy to the country capital. Also, if you want to um, delete an item, an item means like a key, key pair value item. So we can delete the country capital, like such as Canada. So if we put in a DEL and a and the variable with the key value, we can actually delete from uh, delete the Canada. You can see Germany, Canada, it England, and Italy. And currently we have Germany, England, Italy because we delete Canada. So yeah, it's easy to understand. And lastly, um, you can clear all. You can delete all items by using dot clear bracket, and that's what it left into like a empty um, dictionary. So an empty dictionary is actually safe as uh, set. So um, Python will like like uh, have difficulty to um, choosing sets or dis uh, dictionary, but Yep, uh, it works, so it doesn't matter. Um, so, yeah, uh, for dictionary, is, these are all the operations that can be used in dictionary. And data type, data type comparison. Um, like in addition to our last week comparison, last week we have a comparison of, um, of list, tuple, and sets. A list uh, um, is uh, it allow duplicate element uh, is ordered, which is uh, we can get a ordered mean. You can actually uh, giving a uh, a index name to the um, element inside the list. Um, also, uh, tuple is uh, not multiple. That means after you set the after you set the um, tuple is not able to change the element inside of the tuple. Oh, sorry, I have some problem. Is it? Ah, sorry. Oh, sorry, I forgot to stream it. Cool. Um, so yeah, and for the set, is um, it uh, is it because it is using a set something like union and differentiation is not allowed to duplicate. In addition to last week, we uh it, we have a dictionary for comparison. So dictionary is is not ordered. So you can change the the order of the country. Something like Germany in uh in the last place, Italy in the first place. Yep. So it is uh not ordered. Also, dictionary is um unique. Uh, the key is unique. So you cannot have um two Germany in the same uh in the dictionary uh in the yeah, dictionary. So, yeah, it's, it's unique key. So, yeah, you can, it, it's, so it's kind of not allowed to duplication. And, that, and, we can, and we can change the variable in the dictionary by using the uh, add item, but we can add, uh, change the value into like, um, country, capital, um, Germany into another 
city. So yeah, it's able to change. So that's the overall data type comparison. I think um, just uh, uh, type in like, any question if there, like any confusion of the data type or any like difficulty you enter, encounter when you uh, implement those data types. So, yep. And data type, cool, we done it. So let's start a new topic. Uh, what, if, what is functions? So we have something like print hello world. Um, imp um, this is a new one. So we want like uh, the program to stop running for one second. So we we'll, we we'll use time dot sleep. Also, we uh, sometimes we want to uh, add the array together. We use some array, and sometimes you want to get the um, the number counting for the word. Uh, word variables. So, what are functions? Uh, and yes, we have already using the functions without even knowing it. So, by using print statement, these are functions, and we are keep using it for uh, getting a value. So yeah, functions uh, by definition is out of uh, it's a block of code that is. Um, out, out of line mean it is not in the um, main in the main program and it can be executed by uh, it can be executed or run or called by uh, writing its name in the program statement so what it what so yeah it's a definition so what the definition talking about so yep yeah, here's our function example so for declaring a function we want to make sure you put a uh, make sure you use a def def is a keyword for creating a function and also um and he, hello is the keyword is the uh, it's not the keyword it's the identifier it's a any name you can link to a a, a function and after that, you want a bracket and colon. Colon is for um, indicating, oh, um, this statement is finished. So we put a colon after the, um, the function define statement. And we can, for um, writing the statement inside the function, we will put for spacebar. Remember, it's four space bar. Sometimes uh, it's yeah. You can use tab by on the left hand side of your computer. T A P uh, T A B a tab uh, before um, the statement, but um, sometimes it gives you error because tab is not like officially uh, recognized by Python. So. To be safe, uh, to, for safety, you want four space bar in front of a statement. So four space bar, four space bar, four space bar. That means it is inside the function. Name equal input is inside the function. Okay. So yeah, we know about we learn about how to make a function by using this rule like uh, colon, df, or um, space bar. So. Um, if we if we run this code, something like yeah, if you run this code, like um let's run this code. Let's run this code. Yep. Let's oh I can't. So if I run this code, uh hello and uh, name equal name equal to input. Uh, input like input to your name. We have a function like this, and if you run it, if it's not hap uh, like nothing happened. Be uh, why? Because we need to um, call call the function to be executed by writing it, its name. 
So what that means is we can we need to um as uh call the function by writing hello bracket. So yeah, I think um by writing its name is able to call the function. So let's do it. Oops, what's that? Okay, cool. Um, if we um, call the function by its name and a bracket, a bracket is for just uh, is for the uh, recognizing a function. Let's run it. Oh, it's give us error. error. Why is that? Give us give give us error because Python is running from top to bottom, so Python is actually running hello, and and then set the hello in a definition. A, a definition is a, a function, a set the function hello. So when uh, when we see the error, it's saying like hello is not defined, and that means hello is not defined. It's not defined as a function. What we want to do is we want to de delete the top, um, the top statement, uh, the, the calling statement and put the hello after the def after defining. So if you, if you put the hello after defining, something like defini uh, define the hello and after that, when, you, when we run it, Yes, it's work. it works because um, the input statement is run. So yeah, obviously it works. Cool. And uh, yeah, also make sure you put a um, bracket after your identifier. Identifier is the hello. A bracket is is um, letting your uh, the Python knowing oh it's a function. Yep, calling a statement after define. Yeah, oh, uh, remember remember calling yeah calling the function your statement after define after defining your function. But this rule is only for Python because Python run from top to bottom. But other other code you. You might able to um, run it before you call it. So, but uh, let's don't mix mix up with the concept. Yeah, for 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 Python, you want to define it and then call it. Cool. And we have parameter. So parameter is shared variables between your function and your main code. Let's see. Um, Let's see on this example. Parameter is uh, is a name given for um, a variables um, inside the defining function bracket. We can and uh, for argument argument is for calling. So um, this uh, is actually the same thing, but. It programmers they call it in different words. So argument for calling statement, and parameter is for defining function. So what it do what it does is, um, the argument is passing is uh, is passing to the function. So um, the left hand side uh, left hand side of the bracket inside the bracket we have two. And that will pass to a, so a will be equal to two. A will be set to the two because yeah of the left hand side, left hand side, and b will be set to three because uh is the uh, uh is the second uh, second element separated by the comma separated by the comma. So we have two ele uh, two element being passed by um, a parameter. And what if someone just type in multiply without bracket, uh, with, without sorry, without argument? You know, argument, we um parameter argument they are linked together kind of. 
And if we take away argument and only left with parameter, what we what we um, like, like what the program will run is error is uh, give us error again. If we have, if we need like a b, and uh, we can one one variable. Yeah, so it's one one variable, and uh, if we run five in it, it's run fine. But if if we take away the argument, it will give our error. Why? Because as here we can see, hello is missing a argument. Yep, it's missing argument. Oh, sorry, is it missing. Ah, oh, yeah, missing argument. So the argument is missing. What we can do is set the parameter into a default parameter. What a default parameter is, we, ch uh, um, we give the parameter a de default variables, uh, default values. And when you run this uh, multiply, uh, when we call the function, it will run as as normal because we already have a default one and it doesn't matter um, if we have set the parameter or not. So if we um yeah if we add a a equal to two it runs fine without a argument because we already set a default Parameter, cool. Yep. Um, what if you want to um, um, only put in one argument when you have two parameter? So you want to use something like um, just like our default parameter. We can uh, put in our argument as well. So it's like a equal five, a equal to five, and it will set the a equal to to five instead of the parameter, uh, the default parameter. So, and and you can do it with the b as well. So, you can and we can quickly do the multiply function as well. So if we multiply, uh, a equal to two, b equal to five and print our a times b oops small cap uh, lowercase case additive also if we want if we run this code oops if we run this code it will give us two times five two times five is ten yep that's right um, what if we want to change one value, just like what we did here, like changing, uh, putting one argument inside? So if you put b equal to two, what it does is it uh, it ignores the default verb uh, default parameter and set the b into a new. Parameter, uh, a new parameter. So what we have is two. Why? Because a is two, b is two, and times it together is four. Two times two is four. Nice. So we can set a, par a default parameter, but it's not necessary. Yeah, but it can prevent error. Yeah, that's what we. That's what default par parameter argument and parameter is. Okay, secondly, we, can, we want to talk about um, scoop. So, for um, on the code, uh, the code above is def random, and we, and we set the random number, like number equal to five. And if we run it, and um, Guess what happened? So, yep, we have a actually we can do it like this. So if we run, uh, like uh, if we type in the this program, random, uh, number equal to five. 
if we call random, it's run as normal. It's, it's run. Yeah, it's run. Why it's run? You can see print number. Just put a print number here. It's fine here. It's run as normal. But what if we want to, okay, we want, we call the random number and put it after, uh, after the, our calling. It should work, right? It's like, we set, we already set the number equal to five. So print, it will, it will, it will print five if, uh, if, uh, if you run it. Oh, we have an error. Why is that giving us error? We, you can see number is not defined. Oh, that's weird because number is defined. Um, so what we encounter is something called local scope. Local scope is variable that is only available in one part of the program. In this case, number is only set inside the random number. Outside of the random number, um, how do we know it's outside? Because we don't have a full space bar here. So outside of this function, um, it's, it doesn't recognize because, uh, yeah, it doesn't recognize it. So what we encounter here is, yep, it's only available in one part of the program, which is inside the random function. So, to solve this issue, we can either uh, add a global keywords before our number to make sure it's a globally, like it's, you can use in anywhere, global scoop. Uh, or you can, um, you can set a dummy value, uh, variables, oh no, dummy values before you call, uh, before you make a change of the number. So, yeah, so, oops, where's my function, aha. If we put in um, global number, to set the number into a global variables, it runs perfectly. Also, just like the second second example, if we put in a dummy value, um, if zero can be used, we we want a dummy value into something like extreme number, and we don't want to like um, like uh, having confusion between your actual value and dummy values. So if you run it, oh, it's Give us the it give us the um, values of uh, values um, as uh, in uh, when when we define it. Why is that happening? Because uh, as uh, we can, if we analyze this code, um, is um in the in the function, we are calling um, we are calling the number uh, set the number into five. But what happening is it only change in one part of the program. It doesn't change in the in the whole program. So you can only you can oops you can only set the global variables when we want when you want to assess it assess the variables. So. Yeah. Okay, next slide. Yeah. So. Yeah. And so why why don't we use global all the time? You know, like we have the um number we have num we have, we have uh, global variables. Uh, if we set the uh, if we set both function into global um, if we print it it will only return the latest yeah, latest value and the the value we want to print 
uh, or in the in the function is gone it just um like wiped by the other variables so yeah global variables they are they are really cool they are really useful they can use in anywhere in the program just like what uh, just like um, what we have here global we can use it outside of the function but why do we use the global at the whole time because when the variables is set to global, that means it can access in anywhere. It will use up the memory, so the memory will. Um, you might be getting uh, encounters like uh, short of memory, something like run out of memory. Also, you may encounter. Um, it will affect other program. So other program, if, if they want to get the value from um, um, just um, yeah like two same uh, same variable name, they will be affect each other. Like five will be um, put into uh, will be um, five is right hand side put into left hand side. So number will be set it to five, and it will affect. The uh the random function will affect the add function which we don't want. So in this case, this is a good uh, example of um using local variables. If you see here, we, we are using local variables here. But if you want to set global, it might have some problem when you run like if if your code is like a very huge and complex. Yeah, another way it another way of um passing the um the variables between function and main program is return. So in this code, we have a add function. So we are adding number one and number two. So the, our sum is like adding number one and number two. And what we and the result it should give out uh, give us five, but we know from we know from this example, um, if we run print our uh, results. Uh, okay, so and and if we print our results, what uh, what is what what is happening? So if we print our oops that's my yeah if we have a uh, actually where's my app number oops oh, cool oh yeah multiply that's 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 good enough so we have a multiply and we want to set our multiply into um a an any number number equal to a times b that makes sense that's print let's print it it should give us a 10 because 2 times 5 yeah 5, 10 and to um and to um we can copy this into our print result Okay, um, actually no, yeah, sorry. So, we can use return to, so, sorry, uh, sorry, let's start again. So, for the uh, function, we can use a return function, uh, return keywords to pass the variable into a main program. Just like we put in return sum, uh, if we put in our return, sum oh sorry not sum num because we only have number here we want to return this to our main program our main program doesn't have a four four space bar so yep this is our main program we want to get our results so run it it can give us uh, let's get rid of this it give us 10 where the 10 come from 
it's come from a function. So what we can see is return is giving a value for a function. So multiply is a function. Yes, it's, it's a function, but it returns a number, so our result is 10. Should be uh, good to understand. So what if what if we don't have return? We just print we just um we, we don't have return. So what it gives us is oops it none. Why? Because it's a function, yes. So we have a function, but it doesn't return anything. So um, that means it's, it's not return anything. So it's actually result equal to nothing because it's not re returning. So that's why it, it, we have uh, a none here, none in our results. So make sure if you want, if you want to get the result from the uh, function, we can use either use global or a return. But you, using a global will may have some problem. So return is a good option that you can um, you can uh, implement a variables from your your function. Cool. So yeah, we will talk about the function, the benefit of the function. So function is, is it can be reuse the uh, reuse as many times as you want. Yep, create a common common routine, uh, reuse as as many times as you want. So yeah, we can call the add uh, or multiply a lot of time, just like um. Uh, if we print multiply um, 3, 5, it should give us our, we, have, we don't have return. So return our number. So if we return our number, it's actually returning our 15 from 3, three and 5 argument. So if we can reuse the code, so we can either, we can change to 2, for and run it, it gives give us different value. We can reuse it. And secondly, we can it, it is make your code structure is more clean. What um in the your original um strategy, you might you might want a uh, you might code in this way. Number equal to a, a times b, not a times b. Sorry, is 3 times 5 and we want to print number print number this is what we want yep we get 15 easy enough but what if we want to print a lot of time with different values 2 4 I know 8 yeah we, that works as well what if I don't know okay that's enough what, what if but we keep if we keep expanding our code it, it, it will make your your code like not structure hard to understand and not easy to read so oh, function can solve this issue function it turns into a simple um, uh, simple out of block out of the your main program and um, it makes your code cleaner. It it, it gives you like you can specify your parameter, so you, it's um change. Uh, it can be changed as well. So, so what else or uh, what else be, uh, from reuse and clean? It's also it's easy to share. So if I run if I write this code a multiply code, you can copy this. And use in other program, just like uh, you can copy this into other program, and do what uh, do a multiply as well. 
So it's easy to uh, to easy, easy to share between program, and it's independent. Independent means if if your function might um, give you uh, have some error, you can test your function by function. Something like um, if multiply have an uh, error, just what error can it be? Um, maybe uh, divide by zero. You can simply, uh, if, if you run your program, oops, what's my, where's my program? Ah, here. Cool. If we run our program, b, b over zero, b over zero, that's give you, oops, no, I'm sorry, it's five. 5 over 0 is wrong because we are dividing by 0. Okay, we have an error. What if we put, uh, what we set our um, error code inside a function? It's not giving us anything unless we call it. Unle unless we call our multiply function. If we will call it, it will give us error. So we can actually um, use this independency to test our function bit by bit to make sure the function is not like getting the whole, like a whole error, like a lot of error and you can't recognize where's the program, uh, uh, sorry, where's the error. And function, it can reduce the use of global variables and use local variables. Using local variables, um, it's safe memory. That's good. So function benefit. So as we talked about last week, we have something. We we have a data type called tuple. Here's the tuple. What is tuple? Tuple is. Yep. Tuple. We set our tuple by using a bracket. Bracket. Bracket in our tuple. In here, so what's the difference between uh, a tuple and function? So for the first line, we have a, a bracket with a comma separated. It is a tuple. Yep, it's a data type, tuple data type. And for hello, if we put in a bracket, okay, so, sorry, um, yeah, uh, oh, sorry, uh, if we have a hello with a bracket, this is a function with no argument, cool. And for the third, the third uh, function, we are setting hello and with two, two argument. Argument is when we calling the function. So we have two argument. So yeah, function with two argument. String, string is double coded, double code and integer because 15, we don't have a, a number digit, uh, no, sorry, number, a decimal place, so it's an integer. We, we have a two, two argument. And the last one is actually quite tricky. So last one is actually only have one argument. Why is that one argument? Because we have a tuple inside our argument. A tuple is one data type. So we will, we will, um, see the argument as one argument. So what actually happening is, ah, if we, something like 15, John, this is one argument. Uh, if, um, if you not believe it, we can prove it. Uh, by printing the type wherever we have uh, do this last time. 
is checking the the variable type by using type of ah not type of ah uh, it should be type isn't it right not type not type ah uh, what's the ah yes types okay yep type if we put in our type before you can see it's tuple and he's only one argument but we are putting we are we are giving the function with two variables yep what if we want tuple and other other argument just put after the tuple we put a comma and we can just type in other function other argument just like what we did print our first our first argument and print our second argument yep we have two arguments now which is a and b tuple and int i think it should be easy to understand by uh, like the differences between tuple and function okay let's start a okay so recursion recursion is a function that called itself again and again so function that call itself easy to understand just like we have a run a run function where we it, uh, we have a four break a uh, four space file that means it's, it's uh, inside our run function it run the run again oh my god wow it run the run again so what is happening is run 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 run, run. it's it keep it's why because inside our run function it's called the is it call the run again so when we call it we are run the we will run the we will run the run again so okay in this example it keeps running make sense yeah cool so what actually can do with recursion is uh, a this is a um, a counting problem is a countdown pro countdown program so let's break it let's break it down so we have a run function if the count yeah it um i don't think it's working let me see um uh, yeah 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 we need uh sorry this one might be wrong because we need a global variable uh we need uh, we need a global variable to make the program to work so oh wait wait it, sh it, it might it might work it might work let me check oh no it's not working so yeah um for this program we want something like run number if our uh, we want to set our global count uh, actually uh, uh, no, 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 no. okay so uh, ignore me ignore me so uh, our run number yeah run number and we want to run if count equal to zero when the count is reach, reach the zero, we want to return nothing. Return nothing actually stop the program. So we return it. Return nothing is stop the program. Okay, yeah. Return stop the program. Else, I'll make sure you you add a colon after the your statement, like if definition. Make sure you add colon colon, and return run number. Minus one. Yep, number right minus one. And when we call the, our function, call it free, and run it. Uh, function run count is not. Oh right, we we don't want count. We want number. All right, sorry. We are we we are passing our free inside our parameter. Oh, it's not printing. Uh, it's because of 
I don't have a print statement. Oh, stupid. Uh, yep. Cool. When we run it, it should be 3210. Um, it prints zero because Python run from top to bottom. So it run after uh, when it run to zero, when our number is zero, it prints zero. When it's zero, it return. Return means stop. So that was, uh, this program is running, let's break it down, let's break it down. So number is uh, when we return, uh, it's run, so it's print, it's print out free. And it return into three minus one. So it's called the run again. So we have run two. We have a run two now. Run two, it print two. Is, is it zero? No, it's not zero. So else, else when we two minus one, run two minus one. Run two minus one is one. So we have run again. One print it, so print it. Is it, is it equal to zero? No, it run again. One minus one is zero. So it run, run, zero. Uh, when we run the runs one bracket zero, it print zero. Is it zero? Yes, it's zero. Return, we are returning nothing because we don't have any like um, um, like anything to catch the return. When we say catch, it's because something like if we return a program, we, we can return anything. Return a function return a string, return a number, if we return a number dot, uh, program done. So if we run this again, with uh, print, with, if we print this function, it run program done, because we are returning to our print statement, a print the return done. So basically we have a simple countdown yeah, simple countdown function. Cool. And in this case, we can. Uh, it looks similar to this function. What it does is countdown as well. But we are using while loop instead of our function. What is, what is this name? Is, for this one, we call recursion. For the while true, while true, it keep looping, keep looping, keep looping, keep looping, until count is equal to zero. What it, what we call it is infinite loop, because it's infinite in infinitely looping. So while true is infinite infinite loop. So this is recursion. Hello. And what actually is recursion and infinite loop is uh, what actually uh, what's the difference between uh, recursion and infinite loop is um, for recursion we are uh, storing the function parameter uh, function uh, parameter and return and our variables our local variables inside our memory. In, uh, imagine our uh, the cup is our memory. So if you want to store our recursion, our, our function, it is storing um, it is storing our um, function in our memory. So we can, in this case, our memory can run three times only. But when we run our infinite loop, um, and when we run our infinite loop, it only store our um, variables, which is count. In here, we only have count variable, so we are storing count. So you, you can store a lot of count instead of uh, storing a lot of function in our memory. And, uh, and what if our memory is full? It will give us a, a program error because our memory is full. Um, this is, and um, I think we we have reached uh, the end of our um of our presentation. Oh, sorry, of sorry about the 
the uh, wrong title. So this is our um, our task today. So we want to ask our uh, ask the user to input the name, the multi multi multiple table, and starting value and the end value, and outputting into a um, the name uh, like the customized multiplication table and the yeah multiply multi application tables and that's all for today um like any question just pop in the uh, uh, chat or discord and any uh, any issue on the like login um, to the the page like getting getting access to the resource just uh, let me know in the uh, discord and i try to solve it for you um, Thank you for uh, uh, thank you for um, uh, listening. So yes, that's a fine. Uh, cool. I will mute my mic. Uh, I will mute my mic microphone. And if any problem, just um, turn on the microphone and let me know. Thank you. Cool. Okay. How are you doing? I'm good. Good. How about you? Oh, I think uh, like crossword project. Right? Crossword project. Uh, yeah. You got. Oh. Yeah, I have a deadline tomorrow. Uh, Sheriff, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Uh, recording. Where Where do you put the recording of the session? Because I couldn't attend today. Where? Um. So, like, I used to put it in Discord, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and c now I put it on the website. The website is. Um, so, uh, what, uh, I, the reason I make the website is, uh, I want to, uh, get the, uh, people to, um, to, to get the certificate name, you know, like certificate and communication number. So, yep. Um, so when you sign in with this call, um, you should get, uh, let me do it again. Let me do it again. So when you sign in with this call, it should be like co creator side of this call. It will give you a this page. When you click on beginner course, you will have all the uh, PowerPoint, uh, PDF, uh, YouTube. Um, oh, that's very nice. You did this website? Huh? You did this website? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you programmed it? Programmed it, yeah. No, you're joking. It's yeah, very it's hard. A bit, but yeah, I, I solve it now. So it could. Um, actually, 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 um, it's actually, it's quite annoying by logging in again and again. Isn't it? So, and um, actually, this website did like this. Did you use Python to program that? Uh, I use JavaScript. <laughs> uh, not, not Python. Python is like too hard. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, and um, oh, also, um, I. Decided to like, like, not give away the answer. I don't know. It's I. I. It's like because, um, I don't know. It's like checking the answer is better than giving solution and let them check. Okay. So, so uh, what I done is a a upload link. So, oh, I forgot to put on the uh, uh put the upload link. So upload link is something like um. You know, there's some uh, file retransfer or something like this. Like transfer file and when you upload it, I, I want people to put in the upload link and we will check it and give, up, give them feedback. But yeah, but um, uh, what I want, like uh, for, for this website, I, I want people to log in before getting uh, access to this website. But actually for this website, is you don't need to log in. So, okay. And um, I think I s did I did I send it on Discord. Um, do Do you want to get the website link? Or? Well, I have if I have to run, but uh, I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Um, if I want to ask you questions, we should use the because I can't speak here. I should use the support, right? Yeah. Um. Can Can, can you can? Is it okay or not? Hmm. Right. What was the problem? 
I'm, I'm checking. Like, if I, if I ask you, if I ask you a question, you usually look at the support. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I usually um, actually, Discord have something like direct message. So it's just like Instagram. So. Oh, I can direct message you. Yeah, yeah, you, you can. So by by clicking clicking on my profile, you can click on message and direct message. Okay. Cool. Yeah. You like Gru? Huh? You like Gru and the speck of me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, thank you very much, Shai. Huh? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. I, I'll, I'll put the recording on the like, YouTube and you can... Thank you, man. See you Actually, then. like... Do, do you want to, like... like I'll, do you want me to go through it again? If, like, because you missed the most? Hmm? Do you want to go through no, the... No, 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 no. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Oh, um, okay. Uh, Thank I'll, I'll, I'll have a nice day. Yeah, have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, that's a that's a question. I'm sorry, I missed that. So if num be one function that you can as another. Oh, sorry, I missed out the question, the, 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 the messaging. So, yes, so you can use um, same variable for local variable, but not. You can use global variable as well. Global means um, global number, something like this, but um, it might affect other programs. So, for number equal to five in one function and other function is number equal to uh, uh, number one and uh, number uh, number one plus number two, that's completely fine. Is because it's um, it's separate. So yeah, I hope.
sorry, I didn't see the message and I hope this solved your question. Uh, I can make an example if you want.